I always enjoy listening to the Harringtons who serve in France. Did you know France is known for its famous painters? Claude Monet was a painter who painted in the late 1800s and early 1900s. His style of painting was called Impressionism. Or in other words, you don't see the definite lines, but you can still recognize the scene. Impressionist artists like to paint nature scenes and they enjoy the effects of light, color, and water. I wanna show you uh, some copies of Monet's work. Take a look at that. You can't really tell the definite lines, but you can definitely tell that's a nature scene. And this one, can you tell what that is? Yes, it's a bridge over a pond. We're gonna to learn today a technique to copy this bridge over the pond technique that um, Monet painted. Won't look like Monet's, but you'll get the idea of impressionist art. So what do you need? You need a stiff piece of paper. It could be cardstock. This is watercolor paper. You'll need a stiff brush like this because we're gonna use it to dab the paint instead of stroke the paper. We'll need um, colors are green, blue, white, yellow, pink, and purple. And then we need some something like painter's tape and paint tape over the edges. You'll need a cup of water and you'll need paper towels. All right, so the first thing you do is to take your paper and you can uh, use a painter's tape to make a border. When you get finished, you'll pull off this painter's tape and you'll have a nice white border. That's just extra, you don't have to do it, but it will be nice. The next thing you do is to take your painter's tape and you can see how I've done it. Just tape yourself a bridge on your painter, on your paper. All right, then you need to prepare three palettes. I wanna keep them separate because I'm gonna do some mixing of paint. This one, I have the pink, yellow, and purple paint. This is my green palette. And then this is my blue palette. We need the green and the blue palettes to make our uh, green palette to make our trees and the lily pads in our pond. And we need the blue to make our sky and the water. So first, let's talk about mixing paint. I'm going to start with the green paint. I've already poured some here. Um, I poured this paint and then I poured uh, some other paint and mixed white with it. Now I'm gonna make my lightest tint. Make sure my cap is on and shake it. Pour the white onto my palette. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the green. I'm using a different brush to mix. So you may want to get several brushes, but you need one stiff brush to paint. Okay, so I'll take a little dab of the green, the darkest green and mix it with the white. You can see that. That's very light. I think I want a little bit more green. Okay. okay, so now you can see I have a, a dark green, kind of a middle green and a light green, three different tints of that color. And I've already done the same thing with my blue to save time, okay? The first thing you'll do is to start with your darkest colors. I'm gonna start with my blue, the darkest one, and then I'm gonna come over to my painting and I'm gonna do some uh, just dabbing in the sky, just all over. Then I want to come down to the bottom with the same color, same tint, and dab the water. I kind of want to make a little bit of a water line here with my paints, but I don't want to paint it all the way across. 
and you can make it impressionistic style. Okay. And I'll put a little bit more on the sky over here, just but not quite as thick. Okay, now I'm getting ready to switch to my darkest green, so I need to wash my brush and then pat it on my paper towel. Okay, now I'll go to the dark green and we'll do the trees and then some of the lily pads. So start up here. I'm going to put just a little bit on this side, not as much, and then more green on this side. Now let's put some down where the water is for our lily pads. Put some right there. Put some over here. You can't really tell that's a lily pad by itself, but when we get done, it may look a little bit more. Use your imagination. Now let me put a little grass over here on the side of the pond. Okay, now we're going to clean our brush again. Then we're going to go to the next lightest blue. We'll start in our sky again. I brush all different ways that makes neat designs. Less blue on this side than make room for the trees in here. Oh, we need to remember to uh, paint in between our bridge too. A little bit there. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next lightest green. Okay. My paper towel, get my blue off. Okay. As you're painting, you probably want to change your water. It gets kind of sucky. Okay, then we'll go to the next one and let's go back up here and work on our trees. down here. And I'm going to go and work on my lily pad a little bit more, a little bit more green in there. Let's do some in between here again. I'm going to keep going with my lighter blue and my lighter green, but for sake of time, we're going to go on to the other colors and I'll show you what to do, how to finish it out. So I'm going to take my pink and then I'm going to uh, make some blossoms on my lily pads and just tap, 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 tap. See that? Tap, 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 tap. Okay, let's clean our brush again. We're going to dip it back into the purple. If you want, you can change the colors of your pink and your purple just by adding a little bit of white or uh, adding a little bit of pink to the white or purple to the white. Okay, let me get a little bit of purple and just kind of dab it in there like that. Okay, you remember we said that uh, impressionist artists like the effects of light, so we use a yellow for the effects of light. I'll take my yellow. And then I'm just going to dab in different places. And of course, we want it in the sky, coming through trees. Get that like that. Of course, um, while we're painting this 
by myself. I would have all of the colors done before I added the yellow. The yellow is the last step, just to show you how to do it. Okay. All right. Well, let's suppose that's finished. I did one earlier, and it looked like this. Well, last step you'll need is to take your painter's tape off. Let's see what happens. Make sure it's dry before you remove your painter's tape. Oh. Can you see that? Even those lines are a little bit fuzzy, which is what we want. And then if we want, we can take off the border. So I might save that for later. Okay, so there's your impressionist art. Now you could use this to remind yourself to pray for the Harringtons, or you could use it to bless someone else. Happy painting.